It's finally here. The day we've been waiting for that isn't the day that we're finished. Darn. But the wagon's going out today. It's going to the sandblaster and then to the paint shop. It's exciting. It's been a long time coming. We've crossed everything off our list around the whole car. Nope. We're going to push it out of here, load it on a trailer, haul it to the sandblaster. They're going to go into the bottom, through the engine bay, and through the floor pan, and then to Big Mike's. They said if they can't fit us in today, then it'll be Thursday, which will put us even further behind. So I'm, I got my fingers crossed, just hoping we can make it. Well, looks like a project. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. While we're waiting for them to get that sand blasted, I was thinking we should figure out what gauges we're putting like in the gauge cluster and which ones we're putting down in the middle. Okay. So these are barely gonna fit, these big ones are. What is that? We just got these in. They're on the website. That's offroadrecovery.com. Anyway, you can get your own but you'll have to get your own name etched in it like Jamie did this for me. Let's go do this. The tack is over here. What stuff is Trevor trying to stuff in the dash? I don't know. I like how it goes all the way to like, what's that, 140? <laughs> 140 miles an hour. We're gonna be using all of it. It's a GPS uh, speedometer, so good luck. Get me, get me um, some other. Uh, maybe fuel and, and uh, water, Tim. What about oh. boost? Tell me why you were running just barely. Is this the, f the fastest way there, SR7, or is it going to be faster to take the freeway? Probably faster to take the freeway. Yeah. What would you say, Hefe? What's the fastest way there? We don't need anything. Why are you so excited? They just called. Hang on. Let's do this. So they just called and said that the Corvair is done being sandblasted. So we're going to go get it and drop it off at Big Mike's. Get painted. There's Big Mike's. Yeah, we'll take it to Big Mike's right now and he'll he'll do do whatever he does with it. Perfect. Makes us look like better fabricators. So I'm happy with the work they did. It's gonna make it a lot easier for my paint guy to get on this and get it done. leave it on these, this cart for you, right? Yeah, yeah. But so basically we're on. painting the shell from here up. Yeah. Find so I see, I see what you're wanting to go for, so yeah. Now is it okay. going to be easier to get the forklift to pluck this off? I'll bring it over. To, I can, I'll 
I'll get a forklift and set it off here for you. I'll go. I'll set it. I'll take it over there and unload it. Bring it over. Yeah, I'll move the cars, and we just want to put it in that first bay over there. First bay. Yeah. Okay. Put shots. Yeah, tripod in it. Yeah. And do it in time lapse. And yeah. Just sit there out of your way. Yeah. Oh, look who we got here. We got Papa Dar. Yeah. Hello. I see we got some sandblasting done. Yeah, just got it back from the I blaster. I had to come check out, see what my parts look like. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I think everything's coming together. I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited about that. So Big Mike's gonna, gonna fix it up right, I guess. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> professionals don't let half a million people down oh. all at once y'all give me a dollar a piece and we'll have it done tomorrow <laughs> um okay all right just let me know what you need if you're missing something or you want something okay. just boom it'll be over here in two minutes all right, we'll get okay thanks all right we're over here with the wagon we're doing some sanding. Just getting it ready to go in the paint booth. Um, we're gonna pluck it off that rack as soon as Jordan's done with that. Do you want just to shorten that rack? No. Okay. No. I've got another super rack. Super easy. You're saying you can shorten? No, it? I can you just shorten. Tell him how far you want to shorten it. Tell me where you want it. I'll get it. I in want it as low to the ground as I can get it. Okay. Right there, perfect. All I need is my welding hood, my cutoff wheels, and a couple strong guys. Okay. You got plenty of cutoff wheels? playing a little game of wherever Luke, it touches. Wherever it touches. You done good, Elmer. So I gotta say, Big Mike has really come through. He's put all his guys on this and he's just making it happen. Liz, you need an update. On what? Whatever. Well, I am currently holding up the corner so I can out. people will lift the whole rear end up. Or one person. <laughs> it's pretty hard for one person. But you, you got moved it off it. the ground. Do the front. The front's heavier. Get her down. You got a time frame? 
We got a bunch of fans that want to know how fast you can get this done. Get done when it gets done. <laughs> okay. I hope yeah. that's low enough because that's what we got. Yeah, no, I can get my my uh, fan now. So we got Eric with us today. He's about to give you his opinion. It's looking really good, in fact. It's come a long ways from a junkyard. <laughs> it has been. It has. Still pushing it around, though. <laughs> all primered. Hey, look, we're just in time. Hold on. Hold on. Can the two pick up the front of it? I hurt. What the? The bump? Yeah. Good the first time. Oh, that's true too. Okay. Okay. We'll get this color down and then let you know. So what they have now is the bottom half of the gray put on and they're just getting ready to tape uh, the top half and spray the yellow, so that's exciting. So the day has come that I am going to show you the paint that you picked. That's right, you guys overwhelmingly picked option A on the community page. We had over 15,000 people weigh in on this. That's comments. So amazing. Overwhelmingly, you picked yellow on top, gray on the bottom. Now you'll notice there's a lot of this that doesn't have any paint on it. That is all going to be liner that is super durable. So the fenders, undercarriage, floorboard, um, there's still some paint to go on the inside. We're not done with that yet, but this should give you a little bit of an idea of how it turned out. 